This is a problem I like to use early on in my numerical methods courses. It introduces the concept of root finding, but also allows me to discuss numerical methods in general terms, um, or at least what the purpose of numerical methods is, and also introduce um, students to structured programming, as I think it should be done in MATLAB. Um, <clears throat> so um, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to actually find F that satisfies this equation. Let me actually read the question. So in this problem, you'll solve the Colebrook equation below, that's this equation, which relates the friction factor F for turbulent flow in the pipe to with the Reynolds number RE. Um, all quantities are known except for F, so your task is to find the value of F that satisfies the equation. Um, so there are other variables here, but if you actually look, uh, their, no, their values are specified, so they are effectively constants. So what we're trying to do here is solve an equation. So we could call this an equation solving exercise. So um, normally when people think about solving equations, they think about algebra. So maybe the first instinct would be trying to rearrange this equation so that you have F on one side of the equation, uh, but you do not have F on the other side of the equation, and then you can calculate F um, by calculating what's on the other side of the equation. That could work. That could certainly be a, uh, a, a reasonable method to solving this problem, but I think you would also agree that that's not convenient. So in numerical methods, we're not necessarily interested in solving the equation for F in you know, its abstract form. We may just be interested in, in finding a number, right? The number that would satisfy this equation. So I'm gonna sketch out how to actually do that in MATLAB. Um, this is a multi-part question from an old exam. It starts by giving you a simplified formula that can be used to estimate an initial guess for F. Then it tells you to use MATLAB's built-in F0 command. And, uh, and finally, to write your own code using Newton's method. So don't worry if you don't remember Newton's method. I will discuss it subsequently. But first, I wanna just talk about what kind of problem we're solving because in numerical methods, we actually would not call this an equation solving problem. We would actually call this a root finding problem. Okay, so you may not um, recognize why this is a root finding problem. Perhaps you know what root finding means, uh, but you may not recognize that this is a root finding problem. So let, let me just back up and talk about root finding in general. So I, I'm gonna forget about the friction factor for a moment, and I'm actually just gonna talk about the following problem. So if I have some function of x equals zero, so root finding is the finding of x. If I were to plot f versus x, then I'm looking for this point. I'm looking for the value of x such that f of x equals zero. So this turns out to be a general or you know, way of describing equation solving. So in general with equation solving, you have a left-hand side equal to the right-hand side, and both of them could depend on x, so we're gonna assume they depend only on x. So if we put this in the following form, g of x, you know, there's left-hand side is something that depends on x. We're gonna call that something g equals h of x. We'll call what's on the right h. So we can pretty trivially convert it to a root finding problem by doing this, subtracting h from both sides. So if I say g of x minus h of x um, equals zero, 
right? You can always put zero on one side of the equation just by gathering all the other terms on the other side. I'm gonna say that this by definition is f of x. So in fact, this may be considered the general form for solving an equation, but root finding is actually just as easy to do. Um, so going back, I can change this into a root finding problem by just moving everything to one side of the equation. Um, so going back to you uh, calling the variable of interest f instead of x, I'm going to call this capital F of f, and I'm going to call this um, g. Oh, actually, wait, let, let me call this g, g of f, and I'm going to call this h of f. Um, then what we're actually trying to do here is solve f of f, which is g minus h f equals zero. So I'm going to address this problem using a, a series of videos that, that first talk about how to put this problem into a MATLAB script and then talk about eventually how to actually write a program to do Newton's method. Um, but I want to point out one thing before I, I, I end this video, and that is that it's, it's almost always handy to plot. One thing computers do for us, in addition to calculate th calculating things, they actually help us visualize problems. So one of the first things I'm going to do here is actually plot this, f of f. Um, and, uh, and we can use that plot to get a good guess for what the, uh, the answer ought to be before we try to calculate anything more accurately.